sustainable development um, is certainly a big trend um, that we're seeing um, throughout more developed um, economies, especially in the context of the UK. Um, something like 80% of um, buildings that will exist in 2050 have already been built. So in order to, um, I guess, develop buildings up to meet current and future standards, there's going to be a huge um, emphasis on being able to sustainably develop those. We need to move away from how we've traditionally done it because that's got us into the problem of where we are currently. And a really great example of this is 57 Metal. It was originally built to house the workshops of a Renault factory, but it's now our new offices in Paris. And there's some really good examples within there. They've got a rooftop garden that supplies vegetables um, and they've also got rainwater harvesting systems to kind of be self-sufficient in how they use the water to supply the building. But a really interesting part as well is how they've designed the space. So I guess from the development perspective, and um, they've kept the heritage of the building. It still very much looks like um, a warehouse. And they really embedded um, the circular economy in that respect as well, really looking at how they can reuse the existing building materials that were there, the superstructure and the substructure were kept, so the, the foundations and whatnot. Moving in on into operation to make sure that it is sustainable in its use. The way that the building um, was designed is to have really flexible and collaborative working spaces. They've really integrated with the local environment and the community as well. So on the local environment side, um, they considered what was what was there already. What does the local environment need? Um, so very specific and native um, plants were chosen as well as habitats for um, uh, local birds um, and insects. Uh, and then I guess on the community side of things and integrating with them, um, it's very much in some respects developed with um, local artists who did some of the fresco shops. Um, also inviting in care homes and schools to kind of learn from the building. So very, yeah, integrated with the community.